Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrunning Tutorial. This video is for the beginner route of level 15. There are a lot of options here. I'm going to show all of them that I can. Uh, there are three keys in the main room of this level. One of them you can easily skip up to, or fairly easily, by jumping up that ramp and going right here for it. Uh, if you take those fans uh, to jump up here, you can pretty easily jump up slopes to get right over to this key, or you can go the long way along this ramp, that's fine. You can also jump over this ramp to get the third key, and then head over to this end of the room uh, to get to the tear right here. I won't show it here, but if you're doing the early tear glitch, this enemy is good for lowering your health a lot before mending the tear here. This first tear isn't too bad. This area is a little laggy, so that tear may take a little time to mend. Uh, if you haven't gotten the first key that I collected, the one I used a, a ramp to jump up to. You can drop down to the right here and start moving along the right wall to get it. Otherwise, if you haven't gotten this key, you can drop down to the left, grab it here. You can also use this ramp to jump straight over to the key that was here. And then, here, let's see if I can get a... Uh, Let's just jump back over here and show the way along the right wall here. Uh, if you're having trouble with skipping up to that first key I collected, you would just do platforming along here, wait for this bridge to be in a good spot in its cycle, and then jump over. Uh, the second tear spawning here, normally it would not have spawned by the time you get there. It only did this time because I spent so long showing how to get each key. Uh, if you can, it is pretty nice to be able to jump across the rafter area above. When you're on the last of the rafters, you can drop in to collect that extra life pretty easily. But then once you get down here, just back into the corner, hold down on the D-pad and mend. And you should, uh, should be in a good place to mend the tear. Uh, to get back out of this room, I do recommend trying to go across the rafter area. It can be pretty difficult, especially when you're just starting out, getting used to jumping along ledges easily. Uh, that is the fastest way to get out. If you do fall, there is a backup. Uh, you can... it's difficult. I, I will say it is difficult. Uh, but you can get a jump up this ramp to get out as well. Uh, it's it's like any slope jump. You, you want to be strafing to build acceleration as you try to jump out. Uh, I recommend practicing that one a lot and getting the hang of it because odds are, at least for a while, you're gonna have to be getting out that way more often than taking the rafters out. The rafters are very difficult to get across. But anyway, on to the third tear. Just follow the right wall of this room here. Uh, you can jump on this rafter area and then jump straight down to the ledge that the tear is on. If you go directly over this tower, there is a chance its lightning can hit you and kind of mess with your movement. So I, I usually angle around it a little bit as I drop down. And then I will say this tear is the single hardest tear in the game to mend, so be careful, uh, get used to strafing while you're mending tears. I mean, I guess there's not really anything specific to say about this tear, it's... You just need to be really good with the fundamentals of tear mending. <laughs> uh, it's really easy to get thrown off of this ledge with it. Anyway, after mending this tear, uh... We want to get to the ledges straight ahead. What I usually do is just 
hold forward and jump to get up here, and then do a little turn, and jump to get over here. Uh, and then take the fans up and the key is right here. There is another jump that... It's a little difficult, but it does save a little time. Uh, instead of going up and then turning and jumping off of the ledge there, you can go straight across and jump up there. I messed up a little bit. I know exactly how I messed up. You want to go forward and then turn a little bit before you hit this, so that when you strafe on here, the strafe momentum carries you up the ramp. There we go, that's better. I could talk about this more, but this is more something that should be covered in a general movement tutorial. But basically you want strafe movement to be carrying you up ramps. That's how you get the best jumps. So yeah, you can jump straight up there, and then you're going to want to take these rafters across to get back to the vid window. You don't need to use this to get there, but the backup is... Well, I messed up, so I guess I'm going to show the backup. The backup is to use this ramp uh, with this platform, but you need a lot of momentum to get up here. You need a really good jump. It's it's difficult. It's something I only did for the first time very recently. It's not something you should expect to be able to just do on a whim. Oh, there we go. That got up there. A couple other things I'll mention. Uh, these blocks that move along the rafters are weird. They're working normally right there, right now. Sometimes they just start moving off of their paths. That just happens. That happens on emulator, that happens on console, it just happens. I don't have an answer for why. <laughs> so if you see that happening, don't be too weirded out by it. Also, if you're worried about trying to jump around this block to get to the vid window, you can also jump to the left right here, and there's another exit. And then from here you can jump to the vid window. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or ask in the Discord.